Hey everybody, Scott Oden coming at you here. Today we're gonna go on course, talk a little bit of on course strategy, have you just play along with me for a hole. So we're gonna start doing this as we get warmer weather. Here, today I happen to be in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We're here at Rock Creek Golf Club, beautiful for golf course. So I wanna take you through playing the 10th hole here. All right, so we're gonna go through it, short par four, only about 340 yards or so from the tee. We are gonna talk about what we're gonna do with this hole. So. Most people will get up here and they're gonna immediately grab driver because it's a par four, right? They're gonna grab it because it's a par four. And the thing I wanna think about is, I wanna take a look at what the golf hole's offering. So I've got, you know, it looks a little open on the right, kinda narrow-ish, you know, so I, I don't really wanna go over there though. I don't, want, I don't know what's there and I don't know what I'm gonna get if I hit it over there. I don't know what the bounce is gonna be. So I'd rather stick a little left. I am downwind. Okay, now this is a key thing I see when people are talking strategy off the tee. They get a narrow hole like this and they actually take a club that is going to hit it straight into the trouble. Okay, they're, they're taking a club because all right, they've heard you're supposed to hit less club off the tee. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna grab like their you know, hybrid. But at this hole, if I hit hybrid, it's 218 yards. I'm gonna be in the middle of the bunker, right? And that's the narrowest part of the fairway. So I gotta make a decision. I want to go either beyond or short of it. And that's going to leave me in a good spot. It's the widest part of the fairway. So you got to make that decision. So this is actually a hole where I encourage people, especially downwind, as long as you're comfortable with it and you can hit the ball comfortably a yardage, you know, don't be afraid to get it past that trouble. If you can hit it beyond, you know, 230, 240 yards, this is a good hole to do that because what that lets me do, I know right's not the greatest, Left is better, it's flatter. I might have a tree issue or two, but I have at least a shot where I could punch it up by the green. So I'm gonna take my three wood, which I know, especially it's downwind, I can clear that bunker on the left and I got a lot of room. I don't have to aim anywhere near the trouble on the right. So I can do that and have a really good chance at having a good shot in. So let's go ahead, let's give it a try. And let's see what we get. So I'm gonna aim it pretty much just at the right edge of the left bunker. Go through my routine, club to the ball, eyes at the target. Set my feet, check it one last time, and go. And that ball's right at the bunker. I hit it really good. And it just was on the right edge and it's over the bunker. We're in really good shape there. Again, I, this is a time where, on a hole where it looks like it might not pay to be aggressive, I'm going to get the ball up there and get it past all that trouble. Makes that fairway really wide knowing that. All right, so we hit that one pretty good. You might have heard me go through my routine there. That was my actual routine. And in my head, that is actually what I say. That's what I'm going through in my head as I'm going to hit shots. I, I go through that whole exact same routine. So just something to think about there. And uh, if you're, I'll give a shout out to somebody that's really helped me on that. And that's gonna be Sean Humphreys of Elite Performance Systems. Check out his page, see what he's all about. He's fantastic. Anyway, let's go see if we can knock it close, get a look at a birdie. All right, so here's my tee shot. You can see it turned out uh, pretty okay. Actually ran into a problem where I actually ran into, I'm a little bit closer than I would like to be. So that's something we could think about back on the tee. You know, do I wanna get too close? If that's something that you struggle with, then maybe laying way back might be your play. That's something to think about. Now me, I, I'll take getting it close. You know, I, I feel like I can always be closer and do better. I've got 32 yards to the flag. And I'm actually gonna here, I think it's important to shoot the front. I got 26 to the front edge. So I'm gonna try to land it maybe like 28. And it's downwind, so I'm gonna try to have some loft on it and see what I can do with this. So I like loft on shots like this because I don't like to rely too much on the bounce. Although having that, that pin so close, I might have to. Okay, so get a feel for it. I'm gonna do my same routine, club behind the ball, set my feet. Confirm it, blue. I'm going upstairs and I did pretty okay there. That's pretty okay. 
little off to the right, but you know what? It's five, six feet from that shot. We'll take it. All right, so we're up here putting for birdie here. So when I look at this, you know, great shot in actually. Turns out to be on a very good side of the hole. So that's really good. Thing I'm gonna look at here is I, I like to get my line. I had some leaves just blow over, but actually I'm not gonna clear them because where I wanna go, I've actually got a field goal. Now the one moved, but I've got a nice little field goal I wanna kick here with the leaves. So I don't always move stuff if it's gonna help me. If it just gets there and lays there and it's just automatically there, then that's fine. I can't obviously go put it there, but I'm always gonna find stuff I can use. From there, I just kind of get a look from behind. If I can't commit to what the putt's gonna do, then I might go take a look around, but I got a feel for this one. I think this one's just outside right. It's all about the speed I hit it. If I hit it firm, it's obviously not gonna break. I could almost play it inside the right. I'm gonna go just outside because I don't like to hit them that firm. So I got my line, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna get myself set up in my exact situation. See it, I'm visualizing this the whole time. Then I go through my routine, same routine, club behind the ball. Check the line, set my feet. One last look, blue. And there we go. And so you see, I can take a look there at the end. I like to look at it and kind of just take it in. Obviously it's great to make a birdie. You should soak that in, but I like pretty much every shot I hit on that, that hole. It's a hole I really want to remember. So I want to commit that to memory. So take a second, remember it, enjoy it. It's not enough that that happens in this game. So enjoy it. Maybe you can make some birdies too. And that's when golf gets really fun. But all right, so that's playing a hole. We played a par four. It happened to be a really good one, but really liked a couple of things on that hole. One, we talked about, hey, how do we pick a strategy off the tee again? Not always do you just have to hit the short club or you don't always have to hit driver because it's a par four. Think about where do you want this ball? Where is the biggest room for air? Sometimes it's not always just taking the short club. It's get it past the trouble, that will help. Then from there, we just worked on, hey, I got to get my landing spot, kind of get the front of the green, get your target to the pin, and then you can pick between there where you want the ball to go. That helps you visualize the shot. And then when we get to the green, pick your line, visualize it. And throughout all of those shots, go through a routine the same thing every time you really will feel comfortable I think it's a it feels like a cliche in golf but it really does matter so something you want to do really recommend it that was playing a golf hole hopefully you enjoyed this comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video